All right, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. I'm gonna try to limit it to five minutes because the process really doesn't take that long. Learning how to do it, uh, it takes a little bit longer. But I'm gonna jump right into it. We're gonna be working on the skin detail. We're gonna be uh, fixing some flaws in the skin and we're going to be uh, lightening up some areas, particularly under the eye. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna come to my layers panel and make a copy using Command J on my keyboard, it copies. I'm going to hide my original background, uh, make sure it's nice and safe there. I'm going to create a new layer to work with the Healing Brush tool. I'm going to name that Healing Brush, just so I know what it is. And I'm going to zoom in on the areas that we want to correct. The Healing Brush tool will hide claws and things like that. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to increase my brush size here and work with this crease and like magic it's gone here you know have a stray here here and we'll get rid of that as well the spot healing brush tool is used exactly for what it says spots it's not for a major blanket effect uh, to smooth out skin we have something else for that which we'll talk about in just a minute but I'm just going to correct some of these spots nothing major I'm going to turn that on and off. As you can see, it's quite a different effect or dramatic change. Uh, looks good. So let's continue to move on. I'm going to create a new blank layer. And on this layer, I'm going to be working on the clone tool. So I'm just going to name it clone and come over here to my clone tool. And I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard to sample the pixel data that I want to use. In fact, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so I can get a better view of this and let's get back on the clone tool and I'm going to sample the lighter pixel data using my clone tool and just simply go right over this darker area I'm going to create long brush strokes smoothing it out and right over some of these creases here and within just a few seconds we've got a dramatic change now it's easy to get carried away with this uh, if you get carried away your image will end up looking quite fake and nobody wants that I'm going to do the same thing on the other side hold alt to sample click and some long smoothing brush strokes to even everything out under the eye here and just write in a few more spots here and there we go. Okay, turn that on and off. Both eyes look even. A little spot right there. A little bit. There we go. And let's zoom out. And there we go. I don't think that looks fake. Looks very smoothed out and natural looking image. Alright, the next effect I'm going to create is to whiten the teeth and the eyes so I'm going to click on the hue or the excuse me the adjustment layers mask and select hue and saturation most people's eyes have yellow tones to them so I'm going to remove the yellow out of this image and I'm going to brighten it up just a little bit and as you can see that affects our entire image we don't want it to infect the entire image so we are going to hide this effect as you can see our image goes back to normal and I'm going to paint white on my mask which is revealing the adjustment now I'm not I can be confusing I'm not painting white on the teeth to make them whiter I used a human saturation adjustment layer mask to create that effect I'm just using white to reveal it on my mask anywhere that's white on a mask the effect is revealed anywhere that's black on a mask the effect is hidden I'm gonna do the same thing in the eyes as you can see right away it starts to brighten up the eyes or whiten up the whites of the eyes rather give it a more clean color to it and there we have it zoom out make sure it looks natural looks good to me turn it on and off very subtle change looks good alright the next thing I want to do is enhance the color of the eyes so I'm going to get on the hue adjustment mask and do the exact same thing except this time I'm going to turn the saturation up 
And as you can see, that affects my entire image. I just want it to be revealed on the eyes. So I'm going to hide that effect. And just like I did on the teeth and the eyes, I'm going to paint with a white brush over the area I want that effect to be revealed. And as you can see, it's a very subtle change in eye color. Just kind of brightens up the eyes there, enhances them. So let's zoom back out. Turn that on and off to see the difference. Just brighten them up ever so slightly. Looks good. All right. What I want to do now is merge all these layers together so that I can work on them uh, without having to work on each layer. So I'm going to hit com create a new layer by clicking the new layer button down at the bottom. I'm going to hit command, alt, shift in le the letter E, and it merges all of my layers into one right here. And the effect that I'm going to be applying to it is a overlay effect uh, on another image to give a smoothing look to it. So I'm going to create a new layer, like I did, hitting Command J, and I'm going to go to my blend mode and select overlay. As you can see right away, this gives it a very contrasty look. That's not what our final image is going to look like. We want to invert this image as well. We hit Command I, it gives it a ghostly effect. And then we'll go to filter up at the top other high pass and when this high pass comes up we are going to put 10 uh, in our radius looks good to me I'm gonna add one other little blur to it go back to filter blur Gaussian blur as you can see that changes it uh, I want this to be closer in the 2.5 range there we go and click OK and as you can see, it gives a nice smoothing effect, but it does take out detail in the hair and the teeth and things like that. And we don't want that in that area. We just want it to smooth out the skin. So we're going to create a layer mask. And just like our hue and saturation layers, uh, we have a white mask here. I'm going to hit Command I to invert it. As you can see, it changes our image. And I'm going to get a white paintbrush and reveal this effect only on the area that I want it to be revealed, which is the skin going to avoid the teeth and the eyes and the hair. Try to avoid the eyebrows as well. Make my brush smaller to get into some of these smaller spots. And, and it may not look like I'm doing anything right away, but let's back out here and turn that effect on and off. And you can see the subtle change it makes looks good looks like a very natural image same thing uh, as I did before to merge all my layers together I'm going to create a new blank layer command option shift and E merge them together and I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to add some lighting effects to it on my copy I'm going to go to filter and render lighting effects and for this lighting effect I want to select Omni the default is spotlight I believe we want an Omni light where it says light type and we can adjust our light in and out I want to cover the entire image the intensity at 20 looks good I'm going to turn the matte keep it turned down and the material turned all the way down as well to plastic and the gloss down to matte I like it it looks good and there we have it as you can see it didn't really change the light on her face just the lighting around are giving it a more artistic look to it. So just to compare notes, I'm going to make a copy of our background and drag it to the top so we can see the difference in our beginning image and our ending image. And there is our start image. Here is our edited image. Looks very natural. Looks very good. Some small simple adjustments make a photo uh, look very good. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you need to see anything again, just press rewind. Thanks for watching.